Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today's the day after Christmas and we're going to be learning how to make fake snowflakes using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. And this is what our final effect is going to look like. I made this a 1280 by 720 pixel wallpaper so you can download it using the link in the video description below. Now with all that being said, let's open up Illustrator, that's what we're going to be using first, and let's get started with making our snowflake. So pretty much all we're doing in Illustrator is making a shape that looks like this. I use the pen tool to make the shape, so that's what I'll be using in this tutorial, but you could use any method to make the shape that you want. So I'm going to delete this, select the pen tool, and let's get started. But before we actually make the shape, let's make sure that it has no fill and no stroke, and then let's just click and get started. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have to be exactly what I showed you. You can make any shape that you want. Uh, every snowflake is different, so make sure yours is different. You could add curves or straight lines, uh, make it as long as you want, as big as you want. But just keep in mind that we're only making half of it. We're not going to be making the full thing. We're making only half, and then we're, what we're going to do is duplicate it, and then uh, make it so it's, it has the second half the same as the first half. And that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is click up here to finish it off. And then I'm going to select the pointer tool and click on it. And we want to make sure it has a selection of black. I'll select it with the pointer tool. And let's make sure it has a fill of black and no stroke. So it's going to look something like this. Now what we want to do is hold down Alt or Option and click and drag. That's going to make two of them. And let's right click on it, hover over Transform and click on Reflect. We want the axis to be vertical and press OK. And then just pretty much click and drag and make it match up with its first half. And it should look something like this. So now we have this cool looking shape. And that was pretty much the hardest part of this tutorial. Now we get to sit back, relax, and watch as the snowflake gets made. Now what we want to do is click it and select it and click Window and click on Brushes. We want to make a brush to make our job easier. So let's click right here on this little arrow and let's click on new brush. We want the brush type to be a, bat a pattern brush and press OK. And we were going to keep the original setting, uh, the fit to stretch the fit and the colorization method to tints and press OK. And then now what we're going to do is select the ellipse tool, make a circle, hold shift to make it a perfect circle. We want the fill to be none and a stroke to be black. And then select the pointer tool and have that ellipse shape that you just made selected. And just click on that brush that you just made, the pattern brush. And bam, just like that, we now have a cool looking snowflake. Now what you could do is select it and hold shift and uh, click on this corner and make it whatever size that you want. Um, it will alter the look of the snowflake. But I'm just going to keep it something like that. So that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is select it and click and drag it onto Photoshop. So like that. And now what we're going to do is select the pointer tool and press place. So let's click on file new. Let's make a new image. Uh, let's make the width. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's make it 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Press OK. All we want to do is click and drag this onto that new image. And then we're going to select only this and click on edit crop or image crop and then we're going to go to edit define brush preset and we're going to name this something like snowflake brush press OK and then what we're gonna do is make another new image file new this is gonna be our actual background image so let's uh, change the um, width and the height to whatever you want to fit your background. Mine is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels and press OK. And while we're at it, let's uh, double click on the background layer to unlock it and let's add a gradient overlay to the background layer. So double click again on the background layer, click gradient overlay, and then let's make one color on one side. Uh, let's have the hex code of that be 639CCE. And then let's have the hex code of the other side be A9CCE3. So something like that. Let's press OK. Press OK. 
We want the style to be radial. We're going to reverse it and have the scale at 150% and press OK. Now let's click on the brush tool and let's select that brush that we just made. And as you can see, let's make a new layer. As you can see, we have this snowflake brush. So what we're going to do is uh, alter the settings of this brush to make it uh, randomize the snowflake so we can make something like this. So I'm going to delete this layer and then just make another new layer. And then let's go to, um, let's have that brush selected. And then let's go to window and click on brush. And we're going to change the brush tip shape. We want the size to be maybe around 100 pixels. And then we want the spacing to be at about 200%. And then let's go to the shape dynamics and let's have the size jitter to 100%. Let's have the angle jitter to 100% too. And then let's click on scattering. We want the scatter to be all the way up to 1000% with a count of three. And then let's click on transfer to mess with the opacity jitter. And let's put that up to 100% too. All right, now that that's done, just click and enjoy. Just make the snowflake brushes appear wherever you want. And then what we're going to do, once you've had enough snowflake brushes, we'll make another layer of snowflake brushes. So let's do that too. And then make another layer and add some more snowflakes. And then what we're going to do is blur these snowflakes a little bit to add some perspective. Okay, so let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's add a blur of about two or three pixels. Press OK. And then with our original layer of snowflakes, we want to slightly blur those, maybe at about 0.5 pixels or one pixel. I'll do 0.5 and press OK. And that's pretty much it. Now we can choose our text tool and type in Merry Christmas from octotoots.com. And then just make this nice and big in the corner. And we are done with this snowflake wallpaper. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is octotoots.com. Until next time, I will see you guys later.